folks, welcome to Maverick Gunworks channel. Today I'm going to talk about uh, putting a gas block onto an AR barrel. This is an aftermarket gas block. This is a Ruger AR556 that comes with the you know, a, a collar that rather than a delta ring that, that spring snaps on, this one screws on. And this gentleman opted to take his front sight off. Didn't like it uh, the way it stuck up. He's putting a different gas block on it. So what we've done now is we have uh, this gas block to put on it, which rather than having a tapered pin in the top like the original did, it has set screws in the bottom of it. And the barrel is not drilled for set screws. So I'm going to just go, you, go over this a little bit about how we would do this to make it hopefully stay and not be an issue down the road. Uh, reason being, I've seen these a couple times now where people did not do what we're talking about and the gas block come loose, ended up with uh, the gas block sleeping just enough that if you keep running it and it will fire, it may not cycle like it should, but it could actually get the, uh, the gas block and uh, barrel so hot where, the, where it's blocking the gas flow that I've seen it um, melt the gas block before, cause a problem with the, with, the, uh, with the block moving and end up being stuck and we have to cut it off because it got so hot it run and gun real fast, a lot of rapid fire. And uh, when it moved, it uh, stayed there. <laughs> you couldn't get it off. <laughs> so we ended up having to cut the gas block off of it. And, 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 and in one situation, it ended up having to replace the whole barrel because it just was, was not going to work out. It uh, ended up destroying everything that, uh, that got too hot because of rapid firing situation. So anyway, we're going to hopefully make this one so that if you rapid fire, it won't be an issue anymore. All right. So I've already gone ahead and uh, kind of timed my, you know, my uh, barrel nut so that I could get the gas block or gas tube through it rather. When it came in it was a little bit off and wouldn't quite go through. And what I've done now is um, with my torque wrench I've got it down to, let me see, it's, uh, it's uh, 40 foot pounds what it took to, to tighten it just enough that the, the tube goes through where it's supposed to be. And now I'm going to align the, the gas block straight onto the barrel. And uh, let me see if I can get to it better here this way. All right. I'll put my, what I like to do is put a one set screw in it away from the, away from the uh, receiver. And these set screws, by the way, have already have a Loctite product on them, so I don't have to do that. Normally, if I did not do it, I would have a little bit of blue Loctite on it. That's what I like to use so that you can take it off if you need to down the road. But uh, it's not necessarily this one because I already have some on there. So now I'm going to snug that one down so that the gas block stays where it's supposed to be. If I get my, I'm going to get over here and make sure that my gas block, my tube is lined up. Because you can put this on a little bit of an angle and uh, not have it lined up correctly. And you'll end up blocking off part of the port where you wouldn't get enough gas flow through the tube to make the gun cycle correctly. Hey, we, occasionally we've seen that with uh, some trouble shooting situations. And now that one is lined up like it should be. All right. Got that good and snug. So now I'm going to put the, rather than the uh, standard screw or set screw that goes in it, I have a special set screw right here that is a little longer than what is uh, in the gas block. What I've done is uh, put it in our lathe and drill a hole through it right through the center. This, uh, I think it's a number 30 or 31 drill bit, so, or maybe 29 drill bit, so that uh, I have a little bit of clearance on it. Something 1 8 probably would work, something slightly bigger than 1 8 This is what this one is, about 100 and, I think it's 128 thousandths. But uh, it gives us a, a enough dimple when I, when I get the drill bit through, I'm going to be right in the dead center of the hole and give just enough dimple that the set screw will recess into the barrel a little bit and keep it from hopefully uh, as being likely to vibrate out or come loose because you have a dimple there that the the uh, knurling on the end of the set screw can kind of dig into better than just sitting on top of the rounded surface on the barrel. And again, if it were a flat surface maybe, it would probably would bite better possibly, but because the barrel is round, I want to have a pocket in it so we have more surface area for those uh, teeth on the bottom of the set screw to kind of bite into. All right. So, and it don't take much, just a, about the depth of the, uh, the, the angle of the drill bit. If it gets that much on it, you're probably okay. 
Okay, so let me put a little, let me put a dab of cutting oil on it actually, and uh, get a little recess pocket in here for our our set screw to fit into. to drill that because these are, you know, this is a hard steel for your rifle barrels. It's not, uh, it, takes a, it takes pressure because it's not a flimsy piece of metal, okay? It is a very hard uh, steel in your rifle. I think this is probably 4150 to uh, barrel steel for this barrel. Um, and yes, I have a good, good pocket right there. So I'm going to take and uh, put my set screw in it. I don't know if you can see, maybe we can zero them in on this just a little bit with my cameraman here. I want to show you, if you can see the, um, the knurling of this set screw, you can see it looks like some little, almost like little blades on the tip of the set screw. That is to help dig it into the pocket and uh, prevent it from backing out. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and put this one in. I'll get it. Recess down. Because of the Loctite product on it, it's, this is dried out from the factory. So it makes it difficult to turn into once the Loctite bites into the threads. But here we go. All right. And now, I'm going to turn it a little bit. I want to show you before I, before I quit here that we have a little bit of a recess. Maybe you can see the screw that we put in as a as to hold the block in place as a kind of a guide kind of thing but anyways that one is a little bit higher up than the one I just drilled a pocket for so just that little bit of a pocket helps recess the set screw and help prevent it from being a trouble down the road so maybe that help you help you guys uh, if you're building something at home and you have a low profile gas block you're going to put on um, the and this one obviously this one was designed for the snap-in hand guard, but if you use a low profile gas block, it's a good idea to do this to help prevent problems down the road, all right? And uh, nothing magic about it, I just have to have a few tools and you can make it work too, all right? Anyways, thanks for watching, and if there's something we can help you with, uh, give me a call at Maverick Gunworks, or um, if you like this, or even if you don't like it, how about that? <laughs> if you've got a better idea, let me know about it, because Lord knows I'm always willing to learn something, all right? Thank you.